What good are attacking planes if you can't defend those planes? The third armament type for CVs, fighters. Fighters can be used to both protect your own planes and to protect your allies from enemy planes. Fighters are the one type of planes that cannot deal any damage to enemy ships. However, they can protect the planes doing the damage and they can also protect your allies from being attacked by enemy planes. Similar to torpedo and dive bomber planes, fighters have both an automatic and a manual attack option. While there are various advanced tactics of how to use each of these, this video will firstly focus on the basics of how to use each attack method. The first type of attack is the automatic attack. This is a straight engagement between two planes. As you can see, the Ryuja's one plane is attacking my torpedo bombers, causing their spread to go wide. My fighters come in and engage that fighter. Since the fighter is now occupied and then dies, my torpedo planes are free to make their attack. Automatic attacks are best against torpedo or dive bomber planes that cannot attack back. As you saw before, it also causes their spreads to go wide. You can also attack fighters this way too. However, in this type of engagement, the fighters will then be locked with the other fighters. The second type of attack method is the manual attack, also known as strafing. When a set of fighters does a strafe, it moves forward in a straight line bank, expelling ammo into any planes that fly into or that are already within this path. The results can be quite devastating. Similar to manual attacks with torpedo and dive bombers, you firstly hold down the ALT key and then click where you would like the path to go. When the path turns yellow, the manual attack is confirmed and you will not be able to cancel the attack. The planes will fly forward until the end of the path, at which point you will then be able to control them again. A manual attack or strafe is a great way to kill multiple planes quickly. However, if you miss the strafe, you will be expending a lot of ammo with very little result. As of patch 6.3, Wargaming have added another element to manual attacks for fighters. That is the ability to strafe out of an engagement where your fighters would have otherwise been locked. After missing the first strafe, you can see my fighter group here is locked by three of the enemy squads. As you can see, it is nine fighters to my four. Had this engagement continued, my four would be wiped out without doing much damage to their nine. Instead, I am able to strafe out. By strafing out, I am sacrificing one fighter, but it means my fighters can get away from an engagement that they cannot win. It should be noted, however, on the side pan, you do not lose a fighter in this instance. So there we go. That covers the three basic maneuvers you can do with your fighters. The automatic attack, that is right clicking to direct engage another plane. The strafe, used to mitigate large numbers of enemy planes, and the strafe out, a method to disengage fighters that otherwise would be locked. This covers the very basics of what fighters are, their attack methods, and how to do the attacks. There are many tactics we can build on from these skills that will come in later videos.